brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor of all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Let's do it around chapter 28, verse 54. Yeah, it says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. So, would you agree a lot of our culture blacks, our eyes evil towards our other brothers? Like when we walking down the street and like we walking past each other, you know, we looking at each other weird, like what's up? We already ready to square up. No, I can't say that. I don't see that. You don't, you don't see it? You, you don't, don't see it happening? Happen or you don't see black on black crime, you know, gangs? So black on black crime is not a thing? I mean, I ain't seen it in there, but I don't see it. I don't see it in person. You know, never walk down the street and somebody's behind you, like, what's up? Or you never I'm seen, like, no, no fight in front of you, just having with two black people over nothing? You have it? I, think, hey, you know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch it. I'm most definitely wouldn't. I've been a part of it. But you never been at a store and niggas just start set tripping? Hey, you must go six in. You must go to six in. So this is the main curse. 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we know we wouldn't know. I'm going to talk another one. You know, in Exodus, and then we was led out of captivity. But we didn't live with those back into Egypt again. Because we already came from You got Exodus 22. We Exodus 13. This is what Egypt means in this verse. God, Exodus 13 and 3. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which he came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. God, so... Egypt means bondage in the Islam. So when you read it, you use bondage instead of Egypt. And you know bondage is slavery. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. So who is the, who is the nation of people that got brought over to America into another nation via ships? Slave ships. Yeah. Who's on slave well, uh, to what everybody, to what everybody know, African Americans. But we're not really African Americans. We're Israel. But yes, uh, have so called African Americans brought over on slave ships. Continue reading. Yeah. yeah. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We want to see our homeland again. See? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So, so who is we sold to? American. You can say that, but who specifically a nation of people who she sold to? You know, who's like, hey, I got a nigga right there for you. You know, who's doing that? No, no, no. Who is that? Who is that? So, so we, hold on, I got it. So when we came on slave ships, right? Took it to America. Who was sold to who? Who was buying this? And who's American? Who's that? Who, who runs the U.S.? What race of people? What? what? What what race is the president? I mean, can't necessarily. I mean, at the time, white. Yeah. So we know that the white man sold us. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. So continue. So reread that. Okay, I'm gonna start from this part. Thou shalt see no more again, and there a slide. Thou shalt see no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So we were sold into our enemies. White people. And we already know that our enemies the white people, according to the sold to them. Yeah. And he said we were sold into our enemies, and our enemies are the white men. For a bond man. For bond men with the slave men and bond women and bond women with the slave women. And no man shall buy you. So no man was gonna buy such captivity. Martin Luther King, you know, um, Malcolm X, they was trying to do all this, you know, trying to bring everybody together, you know, but it wasn't meant to be like that. We separate than other people. So I just wanted to get that, but I want to ask you some questions. So what are you doing out here right now? Right now? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to get some savage. It's not savage. I'm about to get some Sabbath. Name of the Sabbath. I got something over there. I just got, I just, you know, I just got out of here. You know, I'm saying. Can you get that Genesis? What well, happened? What happened? Uh, about the hair bearing scene. Oh, okay. I forgot. I think it's 20? No, it's not 20. I'll just do that. So, why, why did you come up and ask me? What's up? You know, what's up? Did you get that Genesis? Yeah. 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 Did you get that Genesis? Yeah
Before you start that, I want to let you know. I, so, what he's trying to tell you is that we're a nation of people. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, yeah. you come from a specific tribe. Yeah. Like, what's your father? Is he an African American, so called African American? Yeah. So, you'll be from the tribe of Judah, according uh, to biblical facts yeah. and archaeology. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. So, you're a Judite. You're not an African American. You're not a Negro. You're from the tribe of Judah. So, you, got, you actually got a tribe you come from. Did you know that? You knew that you came from the tribe of Judah? Okay, so with knowing that you're an Israelite, there's certain things that you must do and that you are a special person above the, uh, everyone on the earth, which is what they read. You are a special person above all the other people on the earth. And for you to sell, for you to do things, you know, you came up to us asking for me something. So for you to do things like that, that's going against it. You, you are, you are helped bringing your people down. You know what I'm saying to a lower state, right? So you, you help making your people stay low. When we're supposed to be above everybody else, you're bringing them down. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of are part of the problem. So in order for you, for us, for you to fix that, you got to come back to the Bible, which is, which is what told us we're from the tribe of Israel. Okay. So heaven is only for a certain people. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know what tribe you're from. You got to know what you got to do. You got to know what your purpose is. Your purpose ain't something you know. Nah, and we really going to bring that all that out. All right. Because you said a lot of key points that made me think of it. Can you get that? We can start off with this, and then we can start off with like you need to do. I want you to listen to this, because this is all right, so that's Genesis chapter 1, verse 30. It says, And to every piece of the earth, and every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. So it will you, I have given every green herb for meat. So the green herb that he's talking about is what we we known as wheat. What we know as wheat. Continue. That it's known for what? For meat. And so, it was so. So it was known. You use it for meat purposes. So like uh, paprika, you know, you season meat. It's only for meat, for steamer. It's not to use it smoking. You can get that uh, First Peter 5 and 8. That's like that one in Wisdom of Solomon that you pulled out to? Remember? About it wasn't for the um, Oh, yeah. Herb. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Because it points you back to the Father, which actually healing you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the weed, it ain't the herbs that's, that's healing you. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Say, like, well, and, the herbs and, and that was a clean cup for the woman saying that's one heal you. Right. It's the Lord yeah. heal you. Right. I get that. This is First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Be sober. Okay. Listen, it says be sober. So you know what sober is, right? Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil. Oh, so our adversary, you know, your adversary is uh, somebody that's against you, right? Uh, and, and your adversary, who the devil? The devil, mm -hmm. as a roaring lion walking about, seeking who he may devour. So he loves to prey on people. You know, that's out of their element. That's not in their right state of mind. That can be political and uh, that can be physical and spiritual. Because you know, spiritual, you can be dealing with all these other doctrines. You know, Islam, all that stuff. You can be drunk with all different philosophies. You know? And then he'll bring you down low. But in this instance, you know, you gotta be sober. You can't be high all the time because you don't know what's going on. People can say, hey, I know what's going on when I'm high. People say that when they drunk, but they drunk. Then, you know, that's the, you heard the phrase, that's the liquor talking to someone. That's all it is. You know, you ain't really fine. So can you go to that? Uh, so another thing, man, like you said, we're not Christians. You know what I'm saying? What Christianity does, it, it does the same thing a drug do. A drug makes our warriors docile. It makes us no more warriors. You know what I'm saying? It makes us no more soldiers. Okay? So Christianity is just like a drug. Okay? It makes us, it makes us, hey, you know, I don't care what's going on. It's, it's cool. I'm just chill. I'm just on chill mode. And then, and then the cops will come up and take your ass because you on chill mode all the time. You ain't alert all the time. You know what I'm saying? Our young men are supposed to be warriors for our nation. But they're no longer warriors because they die on drugs or drunk or something else. We ain't got no war. All of our warriors are, are docile. We weak. You know what I'm saying? We weak as a nation. All of our warriors are weak. You know what I'm saying? So the nation of us, of us, our young men, they're supposed to be our strong arm, right? But we ain't got, we ain't got no nation because they weak. 
You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure we got to um, we got to come back to these laws because that's what's going to make us something that they couldn't be because they want to live like the 70s and 60s. Something is a lie. They want to be rich before they can be strapped or something. They want to be rich 15, 18, 15, following greetings. Word is true. Word makes you what I believe. Uh, I'm sorry, but I apologize. I was going to, I've been looking for y'all. I think it was one of y'all. He was a light skin for us. I apologize the other day when y'all seen me. And I was sitting there and talking. And I said to myself then, but, I, but the only way the truth is only through Jesus Christ. Because we're all Gentiles. It, it's true. And what we got to do is we got to follow Jesus. That's why he gave us the book of Paul, the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. He spoke to us, the Son, the Holy Spirit came through. That's what Peter's on. That's what we got. He's right in the Bible. Right. Can you help me out, young sir? I probably got to my room. What's up? I'm, I'm out, I got a toe dog to dial. Y'all got some tape. I, can I, I got no tape. I got no tape, man. Okay. I'm probably doing But, uh, Paul will give you the truth. He, yeah, I think one of y'all said it. And I hope y'all remember that. Y'all said it. The Paul was, a, I said, he was a scholar, a scholar of Pharisees, a Pharisee, people taught the Jewish religion. That's why they all came down in. But the only thing Jesus Christ was a promise of, he said he came to promise. 